All right, EJ, a little down-under lingo lesson. Of course, I've been to Australia. BP, you need to figure out some of those down-under terms. Oh, yeah, like grill on the barbie? Or yeah. Shrimp on the barbie? Or... Uh, you're, you're way yeah, off base. Hook. Goodwill Games from Brisbane, Australia, following the race here on TNT. Hope you'll stay with us. No, like walkabout. You know what a walkabout is? Uh, no. Okay. I do know that the 28 car all of a sudden is very close to the two car. NASCAR on TNT from the Richmond International Raceway. Coverage of the race for the championship continuing with the Chevy Monte Carlo 400. Just past halfway in the race. Big story of the night tonight. Jeff Gordon, the championship leader, hit by Sterling Marlin, racing for third position at lap 35. He spent 107 laps in the garage getting repairs. He's out on the track now, 114 laps down in 41st place. Ricky Rudd's running second. Gordon came into the night 342 points up on Rudd in the championship. Stands to lose 100 and change of that tonight if Rudd is able to stay up there and have a good top five finish. On board with Jeff Gordon as he goes down into turn one at Richmond. You can see right now, points if we're, points were awarded for positions right now, Ricky Rudd only 212 back. From 342. But we're not going to award him now. We've got to finish this race. These guys are still racing. Talking about Kenny Schrader, the 36, Jay Nadeau, the 25. You know what the problem for them is? Two other cars have passed them since we saw them last. Oh. Dale Jarrett's gone by in the 13th, Robert Presley in the 14th, and now these two are racing for 50. Can I see a puff of smoke out of Schrader's car? I hope not. That wouldn't be good for him, would it? No, it wouldn't. Usually where there's smoke, there's trouble. very profound of you. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything now, so maybe I just did not see what I thought I saw. I saw smoke, Benny. Oh, good. You sound like Tweety Bird there. You didn't think what you thought you saw? Yeah. Well, it may have been a little, I don't know if it was contact, maybe. Contact smoke. Okay, they've been side by side for about 20 of the last 30 laps. Are they having fun or are they getting frustrated? I oh. just want to hit them. I mean, that's what you're feeling. 25's going, man, I need to just bump him out of the way. But I know everybody's watching right now, so in the meantime, here comes Bobby Hamilton trying to slip underneath. He doesn't know everybody's watching. But it would be bad timing. It would be real bad. <laughs> <laughs> but it is frustrating because these two cars are... They look like they're so equal right now, but they need the same race tack to be fast. So that's what's making it so difficult. The 25 cannot get up off the corner on the low side. Oh, oh there we go. There's, there's that little temper I was looking for, BP. That was a slide job. I just want to hit him, that's all. 15th place, Grenadu looking down on Richmond from our U.S. Army Sky Cam. United States Army being Army of One. Got a car scraping the wall up in turns one and two it is Daffy Duck. He might have a tire down. Jeff Green, right front. And the other one's up there. up there. He's got a tire down. That could have been after hitting the wall, of course, but... Eighth caution of the race. And Rusty Wallace comes back and brings the field to the yellow flag. We'll see some pit stops when we come back in a minute. You're watching NASCAR on TNT. Back at the Richmond International Raceway, under caution in the Chevy Monte Carlo 400 with the Looney Tunes for the eighth time in the race. This would come out with Jeff Green and Rick Mast at the same time, but separately got into the wall in turn one. Pit stops under the caution a moment ago. Rusty Wallace is leaving the pits. We see him, the 28 car right behind him. Then comes the 8, the 26, 29, 20. And after that, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're out of breath. I'm out of breath. Terry Labonte, then Ward Burton. Bobby Labonte and Jeff Burton. Then Kyle Petty. Let's get some reports on the stops, Bill. Well, a good stop for Rusty Wallace. They made a one-pound air pressure adjustment. Rusty still trying to find the same field he had earlier in the race. 
pit stop, 14.02. Another good stop for the two, Dave. Bill Ricky Rudd came in, but he was radioing to the crew that the car was a little bit tight getting into the corner, but he really didn't want to mess it up and make it too loose, so they made no adjustments to the 28 car. Marty? Dave, a good stop for Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s team, 15.84 on the stop, a little bit tight from the middle off, but he said it was much better on that run than it was the run before. They went up one round on the track bar, he came in third and out third. We're going ready, getting ready to go green back out on the racetrack. Mark Martin again trying to get a lap back from leader Rusty Wallace and again unsuccessful. Here comes Rudd for the lead, looking inside. And like BP said earlier, this is the time to do it. This is the best your tires are going to be. So you really need to get this done in the next eight or nine laps where you got the best grip in your tires. All right, here comes Ricky. He's looking on the inside, but Rusty gets that great runoff too. mentioned that both Rick Mast and Jeff Green have taken their cars behind the wall after the damage from the flat tires we saw a minute ago. Now does Ricky Rudd become offensive or defensive because he has Dale Earnhardt Jr. right behind him. Ricky Rudd showing him just 15 hundredths of a second behind the leader. Earnhardt Jr., four tenths of a second. Folks, you can see four tenths, now three tenths. It isn't much. <laughs> Cut slow. Here it goes, Rudd. He is doing everything he can to get down there. Here's where he's got the problem, getting the fight off the corner. Two car just shoots out of there. Ricky will drive underneath him, but won't be able to get off the corner. Now, the other player in this equation is Jeremy Mayfield in the 12 car, and he's the first one to lap down. He's in 24th place. Obviously very fast at this point, but he's gonna get around these leaders and catch a caution flag. And here comes Junior on the outside of Ricky Rudd. Line was off the pace on the back stretch a minute ago. He's gathered it back up and continued on. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes over that second spot. Jeremy Mayfield, the lap car between Jr. and Ricky Rudd. Fifth place. Harvick in the 29, Stewart in the 20, Ward Burton in the 22. Matt? Ward Burton and Tony Stewart keep battling back and forth for that sixth position. Remember, Stewart is very good after about 15 or 18 laps. He was very fortunate on his pit stop. The 27 car was in. Stewart had to angle around him and had a bad position in his pit box. Fortunately, he didn't have to back up and lose even more time or lose spots. They made air pressure adjustments in both left side tires. They went a half a pound down and a half a round of wedge. He still needs forward bike. Here's, here it is, race lead. We're both looking at the same thing there, BP. Junior's on the roll. Now here's where Junior had the trouble earlier, was running down low and then getting sideways, getting off off the corner. That looked pretty good, that corner. has not led yet tonight. Started the race in eighth place. I think that Dale Jr. wants to pass Rusty Wallace, but I don't think that he's going to try as hard as Ricky Rudd did because I think that he realizes that Ricky Rudd tried so hard that right now he probably has built the air pressure up the right front tire and his car is not quite good. Rudd, Rudd needs to calm down and run a few laps to let his car come back in. That's the problem here with the five car, it looks like. He's got some sparks coming off the side of that thing. He 
exhaust pipe hanging out, maybe? Dragging on the ground? Yep. You got it. Uh, we've talked about how much Terry Labonte needs to have a good run. Black flag's up for him. Can't I do that. I don't know if that tailpipe's going to make it around many more times. Oh, man, what a terrible, terrible break. Running in ninth at the time of his trouble. That's too bad for Terry. And it looks like the junior's car just all of a sudden, just in a lap, slowed down about two miles per hour. Already falling a full second back of Rusty Wallace, and you can see the pressure run is now putting on him for that runner-up spot. Well, that lap, Junior's car was back up to speed, so I'm assuming last lap he had got sideways pushed or something that caused him to lose that three or four mile per hour average. There are where the drivers in the running for the Winston Million Dollar Bonus are positioned in the race. Earnhardt Jr., Ward Burton, Bobby Labonte, all in the top ten. They've given away the money. 10 times out of 18 tries that they've had that they've had these million dollar bonus races so he's got he's got uh, fluid coming out of there too bp see that dripping down there bill weber oh terry labonte on pit road they're going to look where the sparks were coming from they had to answer the black flag from nascar terry very disappointed on the radio they were hoping they'd be able to stay out and maybe catch a caution but that didn't happen this team cannot buy a break just as we were talking about how well things were going they just had another good pit stop they've got right side tires on terry's car and send him back out but uh, lost valuable laps here on pit road under the green it's, there's some kind of fluid coming out of the front of that car. Terry Labonte has made contact with the outside wall, hasn't he? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All the scuff marks on the right side tires. And, and it, all of a sudden, the 29 car is losing positions. Or maybe he's trying to gain one, trying to pass Spencer, huh? Yep, Spencer's in fourth, Harvick's fifth, Stewart's sixth. Harvick trying to move forward and see if he can get around Spencer. 256, complete of 400 here in Richmond. Rusty Wallace is your leader. The Chevy Monte Carlo 400 with the Looney Tunes on TNT is brought to you by Casey Atwood and the Duke Crew. Fueled by Mountain Dew. By Pep Boys. All you need to know is where to go. Pep Boys. And by Team Monte Carlo. The cars more champions depend on. Chevy. We'll be there. We're under caution. In the Chevy Monte Carlo 400 at Richmond, Terry Labonte's problems went from bad to worse. He's crashed in turn one. You see Terry is out of the car and walking away. Let's take a look here. See, you got the, the, the pipes hanging here, but there's fluid. All this stuff coming off the pipe here, there's water. I don't know where that's coming from, but you can see right in here, all that water coming out. And it's quite a bit. Now, I don't know if he slipped in that when they went back out or the pipe came off. Let's take a look at the crash and see what we can see. If you looked at the top of that frame... Yeah, the pipe is up here. You could see... Well, there's another piece of it, though. Something came out from under that car, and he ran it over. Yeah. Now, there's the, flu there's the fluid in the pit stall when they left. I don't know. Have what any the, idea what that is, BP? Oh, it looked like water. If, if we get a chance to see that again, if you look right out behind the car, like right around the start-finish line, you're going to see something come flying up. Watch the car as it comes toward the start-finish line, and you're going to see something come flying out just as the car turns sideways behind it. Right, see it right see there. See right there, yep. Right there. Something's yep. come out from behind the car, and he's run it over and cut the... See, there's the piece of metal coming down the center of the track right there. Yeah. Right up there he's run over his own tailpipe i think but then if you keep watching see right there there's something big going up the racetrack there which looks that like is the tailpipe yeah the uh, part of the tailpipe or the other tailpipe whatever no good yep so from a top 10 run to problems on pit road to out of the race after a crash for terry the body all in the matter of a couple of laps